Palm Beach County is on the verge of strengthening the security net around our children. Palm Beach County commissioners okayed a dozen changes pertaining to local child care facilities. News Channel 5's Ryan Calhoun is in our newsroom with the breakdown. Ryan? While it won't be completely signed off on until next month, Palm Beach County is another step closer to keeping your child safe at daycare. From safety requirements to increased licensing fees, serious changes are said to be on the way. It's dancing time for these kids at West Palm Beach's ABC Learning Child Care Center. But the cost of getting a license to run these type of centers could be going up. I think it's an extra $150 a year. It's an extra $150, but it's not the end of the world for us. I'm just not sure what they're using that extra $150 for. John O'Malley of the Palm Beach County Health Department says the new license cost would be a flat fee of $150 for centers that take care of 25 kids or less. Every additional kid will cost $3 per child. The average child care center would increase about $75 per year or an annual license fee. It's a dollar more per child. He says that would pay for about a dozen changes to help monitor those taking care of kids. One change is requiring all workers to have a high school diploma. That was okay. not a regulation before. Only the actual director who had director's credentials would need to have been a high school, at least a high school diploma. The health department also wants new training classes for those who want to open a new facility. Plus, new background check guidelines making it so an employee can't be hired until after they've cleared a background check. We're in Initially saw it as a problem that maybe it was going to take a month to get results back. We're getting them back sometimes 24 to 48 hours from DCF. So to us, it's extra protection. Hopefully protecting kids like these lives so they can keep on dancing. So, so far what I've seen, I, I like. I don't think that they're overly burdensome. I just wish uh, the state could find a little bit more money to reimburse us. Now, one of the biggest changes also discussed today was adding alarms in child care transportation vehicles. This is in response to the death of Haley Brockington in a daycare van in Delray Beach. Contact Vive investigator Katie Legron will tell you all about that on News Channel 5 at 6 o'clock.